I seldom allow them to be destroyed, but in his haste to please these natives, Fraser has made great havoc among the feathered race, and now a crow, a kite, and this laughing jackass lie singeing in the campfire, along with a duck and a tuffled cockatoo all unplucked. Of our four new friends, one is boldest. He takes up a stick and turns them in the embers, smiling wide, licking his lips. He snatches them out, and they set to dislocating cartilage, chewing to the bone, offering us thin drumsticks with the blood still in them. We drift into sleep, nursing bruises, dreaming of rapids, and with first light the giant Alcido, as though resurrected out of charcoal, lifts his tail to mock with his chuntering family a chorus of wild spirits, born of stringy bark and the whiff of eucalyptus. Our friends, too, have gone into the thonic, melted into the shades of Melaleucas. Fraser sits bolt upright, snatching for his rifle, char-faced, sweating and afraid. <laughs>